a movie that I had a real turnaround on as, as far as having any excitement for it for me was Thunderbolts. Because when they first announced it, I, I admit, not really interested. I thought, well, this sounds like kind of a throwaway project, like maybe even something that should go directly to Disney+, Plus, whatever. But then when they showed the lineup about who was going to be in it, right? Red Guardian, David Harbour. That's the one that got me most excited. You had Sebastian Stan is going to be in there as Bucky. I mean, super excited about that. We got Walmart Captain America, which who I grew to really actually like over the course of Falcon the Winter Soldier. Down with that, seeing the return of Ghost is great. Having Elaine come back. It's all good. And of course, Florence Pugh's Yelena going to be in there. There's been a lot of talk and whisper. There's even some whispers going around that they had canceled Thunderbolts for a while. And then they moved production dates and all that kind of stuff. Well, they're actually up and running and shooting it. And in a rare move for Marvel, Florence Pugh actually shot a behind the scenes video yeah. on the set um, of Thunderbolts. <laughs> now, didn't give away anything major, but a couple of interesting things. One of the things was she put up her camera on a big angle to show off one of her new like combat ready suits, which I thought like looked really good. Then they went in and met up with the, uh, they saw the set and she goes, Ooh, wait till you guys see what this thing is going to be pointing out that big scaffolding wall they've got up there. looks right now like Noah's Ark, but I'm sure it's going to look <laughs> like something a little bit different when it's all done. Uh, then she went over and introduced us to the director. Who was, they were actually, you know what? I think he was legitimately surprised. I don't know if you watched the video, but. Oh, I've watched it. I, I, what's that? A couple of times. I thought a couple of times. Right? Many times. <laughs> Ray's all about that. Could be the best video I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think the director was legitimately a little bit surprised when mm -hmm. she came up behind him. But at any rate, they were working on stuff. And they even showed something on one of the monitors of a scene, clearly, that they just recently shot of her like walking in the room she's got her gun drawn on somebody not giving anything particularly away i've got a word that i made up that i use a lot called the tangibilization like it's just it's it's real now like thunderbolts which has just kind of been this theoretical thing in the ether for a long time it's it's actually happening there it is they're making it as we speak it is coming now i can't remember what did they say was a release date for this oh, thing oh let me actually look is it coming out sometime in 2025 let me actually check or did they bump that to 2026 i know did it, it was moved up <laughs> i remember they moved it but i can't remember where there it was originally like late 2024 and they I moved to 2025 25. may of may. 25 yeah may. may of 2025 so we're about a year away from this thing coming up and ob obviously they're already shooting right now so i loved what i saw i get they didn't give anything away just a fun little behind the scene things I, I can't remember off the top of my head chris ever seeing a marvel star on set during production no you'll get darted yeah, before the movies ever come out. I mean, we've seen a few of them after the movies come out, then yeah. they share, but I don't, I can't remember this. Anyway, I like what I saw. What did you think? Yeah, I love her new suit. I love that so much. It, it is a very calculated PR move, though, right? We have not had a great phase this last go, and we got to get excited about these movies. We got to change it up. That's such a good observation, yeah. Like, this was, and I think that's also why this director was so shocked, is we don't do this. <laughs> we are not allowed to do this. I'm not allowed to say shit. <laughs> and obviously, they made a point to say, hey, listen, Florence, people love you. They love your character. Let's lead with you. Let's have everyone just get a tiny taste, a little amuse-bouche, if you will. And that way, we'll get really excited about this film. I knew that was going to get Ray. Yeah. I was like, three Two. <laughs> you know, it's like the really tiny food you get before an appetizer at a fancy restaurant. I don't, I'm using that. I'm now. using yeah. that from now Thank on. The yeah. boosh, boosh. But it's you, just, it's supposed to get us excited about it. You, know? you raise a great point about how, like, I know we bring this up a lot, but, it, but it's relevant, is that Marvel is in a position right now that they have not been in for 15 years, which is they are playing catch up. You know, they're playing from behind. In, in sports terminology, you know, some teams, they're not used to playing from behind. They're used to having a lead, and now they're facing some adversity. Marvel is used to playing with the lead. They're playing from behind right now, and they know it. And that's probably a really good point about why we might see little things like this yeah. popping up to, to reignite some enthusiasm. Well, I, I think they're going to go crazy with Ryan Reynolds stuff oh, once they get the marketing they machine it's going It's going to get Deadpool. so weird and ridiculous because it can be. And, and just kind of piggyback off of that too behind for what their standard is because as we've talked yes. about this week yes. even still doing better financially than the dc mm. films we've seen this past year right but they have had that slow backwards decline they're still doing better than other films they're still doing better than other studios but if you're disney you don't want to be doing 
bad for you. You want to be the best of the best still. You want to be absolutely dominating the box office and having those big blockbuster numbers that match the level and integrity of your studio. Yeah, because to your point, we did the math the other day. Like, mm -hmm. even if you just look at the Marvel films that have come out recently, like since 2022 to now, they're averaging like $638 million per film. That's Marvel week exactly <laughs> their average box office for their films since 2022 would be the number one film of the year right now their average but that is still lower than what marvel standard is exactly and they don't want that trend to continue of it going downwards and so they seem to be taking some swings guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved the feel of them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and if you use our promo code Campia at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Campia and use the code Campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Campia to treat yourself. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What did you think of this? Did you have a chance to see this video that Florence Pugh put out? I thought it was really charming. I hope to see Marvel do a little bit more of this type of stuff. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.